Hi there, this is Patricia from patriciafenty.com and welcome to part two on how to crochet a granny square poncho for toddlers. So in part one, I showed you how to do a basic granny square. I talked about color theory a bit and we did 36 granny squares and we put them into four blocks. This is one block, this is one block and then those are sewn together to create a panel. And then we duplicated that here, same thing, a block here and a block here, and then sewed them together. Now the outside colors are all the same. Some of the inside colors are a little bit different and that's fine. And then I showed how to sew these all together using the invisible whip stitch. So the stitching is all done from behind so you don't see it. So now in part two, we're going to assemble the poncho and do the finishing crochet around the neck and the bottom. So here we are now, we have this panel here and this panel here. And what you're going to do is bring this one panel over, up and swing it over to the left, just like this. And now, we're going to sew this together here. So go ahead and join that using your invisible whip stitch and I'll see you when you get back. All right, so I've joined this seam here and just a note, when you're darning in your tail ends, you may want to do an extra little stitch there and make the join extra secure because that's going to be the front or back of the neck opening. So just make sure that's darned in nice and well. So once you're at this point, we're going to uh, fold it with the right side out, even though you're going to be sewing it on the back side. I'm just gonna show you how it'll look here. So just flip it over so your right side is down and wrong side is up. And you bring the long end over to the left like that. And then you bring the short end towards that seam there. And then, there you go. Look at that, isn't that just so cute? And then you're going to join that seam there and you'll be joining it from the inside, of course. So because you're joining it in the back, you'll actually have it uh, right side up and then bring the end over like this. I just wanted you to see it from the pretty side up. So yeah, so the long end is uh, brought over and then the short end is brought over like that. So same thing, so this is just on the reverse side and then you're going to do your invisible whip stitch there. So join that together and I'll see you when we get back. Here we, here we go, I flipped the right side out. Isn't that just so adorable? I mean, it's almost good just the way it is. But what we're going to do is crochet around the collar. So I'm using this lighter color teal for that. And I'm just going to zoom in here. And I know this isn't as close as I normally film, but uh, I, I needed the camera set up so I could fit the whole poncho in it. So, but I think you'll be able to see well enough. So join on with a slip knot and then decide what you want to be the back of the pant, the poncho, whichever, I mean, they're both the same, so it, it doesn't really matter. So just start at one V. You will start in the, the first stitch before the V. Yeah, before the corner there. So, and go under both posts. So join on with a slip knot or slip stitch. So flip the tail over and just create a slip stitch like that. And then chain one. And then we're going to do single crochets all the way around. So you wanna do a single crochet into that next stitch going into the corner. And this is the stitch that you actually sewed into Oh, I didn't get quite in there. So just do a single crochet. And then you want to go into that 
corner and there's like your joining seam, there's the two sewn stitches there that you're going to pick up in that corner. Not crocheted stitches, but the, the stitches that you sewed with. And then coming into the next square and picking up the top two posts and do the single crochet. And then you're just going to single crochet all the way around going under both posts of each stitch. And but when you get to the little shoulder square, we're going to do that a little differently. And you can either crochet into the chain one space or into the stitch. I always like to crochet into the stitch. That's totally up to you. There's no rules about that. So just work your way along with a single crochet into each stitch. And, and when you come to these corner stitches, you want to make sure to get that that one corner stitch that's, it's kind of pointing down a bit, but you wanna make sure to pick that one up. And then you're going to have your seam from where you sewed the squares together and you wanna pick up that, that stitch there, that sewing stitch. And then again, picking up that first stitch, coming into the shoulder square, going under both posts. And that stitch will be kind of pointing down a bit and a bit tight to get into. And you can see how I'm on the shoulder square here. And for this first round only, you're going to skip a stitch and do a single crochet into the next stitch. And then skip a stitch and do a single crochet into the second stitch. And that's just going to pull the shoulder in a bit. And sorry, this is almost off the screen here, but just skip a stitch and crochet into the second. And then skip a stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. Again, I'm sorry I'm off the camera here and you're, you're at your seam, so you wanna pick up that stitch, that sewing stitch, and then carry on now, crocheting into every um, stitch, going all the way around. And so you're pulling that shoulder in like that, and then when you, come around into your V here, just make sure to catch that sewing stitch and carry on and skip every second stitch for the shoulder. So go ahead and do that and I'll see you at the end. Great, so here we are coming around to the end of this round and I'm just going to join in with a slip stitch into that beginning chain one and then you're going to chain one. It's kind of a loose chain one. And then carry on doing another row of single crochet all the way around. And you're just going to go into the top of each stitch going under both posts and go all the way around. So go ahead and do that and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so I've just come around to the end of this row and you'll just join with a slip stitch into that beginning chain one. And I'm not going to chain one to fasten off. I don't want a knot there. So I'm just going to pull the yarn through and then darn it into the inside there. And uh, you can darn in your beginning tail as well. Uh, and uh, you can see how it looks here from the front. And isn't that sweet? And see how that just pulls the shoulder in nicely? It's so cute. So next we're going to do the hem. So we'll see you there. All right, so again, working into the back of your poncho, working into the bottom corner, join on with a slip knot, and I'm using the same lighter teal color. So we're just going to do a row of single crochet around the outside. So joining into the chain two space in the back corner, flip your tail over and join on with a slip stitch. And then do a chain one and that counts as your first single crochet. And then do two more single crochets into that chain two space. And then you're just going to single crochet all the way around 
going under both posts of each stitch all the way around. And just working your way around. And when you get to the chain one space, you can work into the space or into the stitch. That's totally up to you. And when you get to your join here, where you sewed your squares together, and this one, you're just going to have to sort of use your initiative. You basically want to have a stitch on each side of your joining seam, but you also want to pick up the joining seam. So there'll be the two yarns there from where you join together. So you want to do a single crochet into that and then pick up you're not you're not going to single crochet into that one you're going to pick the next one because you don't want to have too many stitches so that's where you kind of have to use your initiative to see where you had um you know sewn your squares together you'll see it you'll be able to figure that out so just um, work into those stitches in the best way as you can and work your way around and then when you get to the other corner here you want to work three single crochets into that chain two space and so do that here three single crochets there and work your way all the way around so I'll see you on the other side and I should mention when you have these chain one spaces where you finished the square with the invisible finish so there wasn't a knot there that stitch might be a little bit hard to work into and if that's the case you can just work right into the chain one space and not under the uh, the two stitches just you know just work into it the best way you can and uh, then just carry on all right, so here we are at the end of this round. So coming into the corner here and just join this round with a slip stitch into that beginning chain one. And um, you could start the next row right here, but I'm just going to slip stitch over to the middle single crochet and I'm going to start the corner there. So you're in the middle stitch of the corner and then you'll chain three and this counts as your first double crochet and then you'll do four more double crochets into that same stitch so you'll have a total of five double crochets into this middle single crochet of the corner and that's five and then you'll just carry on with a double crochet into each stitch all the way along going under both posts and just go all the way around with a double crochet border and then when you get to the next corner you're going to do a set of five double crochets into the middle stitch of those three single crochets in there you pick the third the middle one and do five double crochets in there and then carry on all the way around and i'll see you on the other side now here i am coming to the end of this round and so we'll join on by going into the third chain of the beginning chain three going under both posts there and do a slip stitch and i'm not going to do a chain one to fasten off sometimes i do but on a finished edge like this i'm just going to pull it through and then darn the tail end and so this is just so cute. I'm just going to pull the camera out here so you can see it better. Here we go. And so look how cute this is. It's just so adorable. Now I've not done anything with it yet. Of course, you do want to wash it. And I always prefer to hand wash crochet some people throw it into the machine but with all the tail ends i always like to hand wash it and then you can just lay it flat to dry again some people just throw it into the dryer that's totally up to you and 
then I am actually going to just steam this. So you can do that as well. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Here we go. All done. And see how the shoulders are brought in just by skipping those stitches in that first round. It just gives the neck a little bit of a dip so it'll fit snugly around the shoulder of the child. And then I think this border is so nice. It's just a simple border. And what I like about this poncho, it's not really baby looking. It just looks like a, a funky little poncho. And I think this would look so great with jeans and cowboy boots. I think it would just be super cute. I just love it. And the steaming just does such a nice job. And here it is on the inside. It, it almost looks as good as the outside. That's always a good sign. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel um, because when you interact with me in that way, it really helps my channel, especially as a new YouTuber. It helps my videos to get uh, a little more presence on YouTube. So uh, it really does help when you interact. So leave a comment, subscribe, share, be great. So happy creating and we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me.